Hey guys, it's Gage Rancha, and welcome back to my Sims 4 save file. So this is like, like this is kind of like the save file video that I'm going to be making that's just going to be like showing off the whole base game save file and basically showing off like everything that I really want to like do, including like big like gameplay ideas too. So it's kind of just going into the whole like thing about my entire save file instead of individual lots. But yeah, that's what we'll be doing for like uh, future updates too. Because right now, here's my save file. It's for base game and it's basically like what we're going to be using for now. But I will say like you can go download it from here. Move this right there. There you go. Yeah, let me show you. Because we have the hole. Well, here is my blog. You can download from my Tumblr blog or my website or whatever. And then, like, Tumblr.com or whatever. And then, like, like here is the main base game. That's the one that's publicly available. And you want to get the updated one, like go to the like comments and notes or whatever and like look at the one that I like reblogged the most recently, right? Like that's the one you want to get. Usually June first, that's the most recent ones. Like it's been over a year <laughs> since I've actually updated this. But hey I'm I'm working on it. I'm working on the expansion pack, I promise. But yeah, I also like if you're gonna be getting this as well, like make sure to get this. Like specifically this one that this exact mod from um, um, Orange Mittens or whatever. I don't, I don't. I think that's. I don't think that's a person. I think the. I'm trying to think. Hang on, Comb. It's by Comb or whoever this website is. Just just get it from here from Sims for Studio because, as this is like one of those things where it's like I only have one piece of required CC and it's this one because it's like it just it just needs to be in the base game. You know, and I feel like that's like the thing that like everyone needs. It would it'll kind of suck if they end up like releasing this like uh, if they end up like releasing this like in the actual game at some point. I mean, but I mean, hey, it's like this is like something that was in the actual game and it was like a limited thing and it's really stupid and it's like you know. And I know Ravishing has like their own like photo system, but get this one because it's like an actual game. So I because I just didn't want people to have to get CC, but I do want the family portraits just because they're in every house. And it's kind of a big part of the save file, right? And then you want to go to uh, PC documents, EA, Electron R, Sims 4, go to your saves file, and then like, like put it in here, like make it back up and everything. Like just the typical things you would do for a save file. Like watch the little Simsy's video on it too. Like she explains it like more in depth than I do. Just download it and extract the file. So it's fine. But what I will say is I'm gonna go and start actually touring. So give me one second. Here we go. So here is the save file. Uh, and again, it covers Willow Creek, Oasis Springs, and New Crest. Like those are the three ones that I have. And you only really need those for my expansion pack one. Um, like the first version I'm gonna release of that is gonna be you know, like requiring like get together, seasons, eco lifestyle, and uh, city living. But I mean like if any, if anything, just if you're going to be getting one thing, like just get get together because that's kind of the big point of that save file. I mean, for this one, it's different. But I mean, when it came to creating this one, it was definitely like I really wanted to do something similar to Little Simsy where I just kind of like updated everyone, you know, and renovate all the lots. But then I ended up like I was going to be like, oh, I'm not going to put too much work into this. And then I ended up putting so much work into it and like doing actual like, uh, well, like flashbacks, you know, but. Like, not flashbacks, but, like, ancestors and all the ghosts and stuff and all the lore. But, yeah, that's kind of what this save file is meant to be. It's really meant to be, like, the big, big save file to, like, explore everything. And then really bring back the lore that wasn't in The Sims 4 originally. So, yeah. But, I mean, yeah, I think, like, with Willow Creek, like, you want to start with the Altos. They're always the first family that come to mind for me. Yeah, with Willow Creek, just because, like, they're kind of really important to the plot, you know? Like, like you have the Altos and the Land Grabs, and that's kind of the main story of it. So, like, you always kind of want to start here. And you got the big Gatsby vibes with it, you know? And I'm going to, like, tour this again real quick, just kind of show it off. But, yeah. Like, I gave her a suit and everything, because you don't have... I don't have the one from Get Famous, and I like her in a suit a lot. I think it's really good. And, again, like, you're not going to have any of the... Um, journal stuff in here. That's what I'm working on with the base game. I don't even think they have it in this one. 
right? Okay, I gotta like double check, but yeah, I don't think they have. No, they have it right here. Okay, they it's always in the thing, but yeah, like the, you're not gonna get the memory journals. Just you have to get Ravishing for that, and I'll update that like eventually. That's like coming soon. So yeah, but this house is like. I ended up like building like all the houses from The Sims 1 and putting it into Willow Creek. And this ended up being the house that like was unoccupied, the big like dream mansion. And then I ended up making it into the like dream house that was owned by the land grabs, got stolen by the altos and whatever. You know, like it was really like like this whole thing where I really wanted to make like something that was like like really like a flashback to The Sims 1, like this gothic revival estate, you know? I don't know, it's a th it's weird to think about, because, like, it's a lot to go over, you know? I'm not gonna edit anything, but, yeah, this is kind of the big main point of contention here, and they're the kind of the main villains of the town, too, so, yeah, I have Vita Alto, I brought back, brought back all this, I'm just, I, I haven't, like, brought back their, um, old house, but I think that's just because of the fact that, like, I really wanted to bring this one back and use it somehow, so... Oh well, sorry to anyone who wanted the original one, but it's fine, whatever, we'll just use this, but, you know. Uh, other than that, I mean, like, this is very much Gatsby inspired, I really enjoyed it, you know, even though it's not really as, um, inspired by the original house, it is still here, and definitely, like, a really, like, big plot point, you know, where you have... Like, her being the leader of the town and, like, owning all the businesses, even though she does, she can't technically own the businesses, but uh, for storytelling purposes, she does. But, yeah. I think one thing, too, is, like, whenever you play the save file, like, I, like you're kind of meant to play with the Sims, you know? Like, you're not really meant to move people in. I do recommend, like, if you want to, like, move people in, just, like, evict, like, one of the houses, like, burn it down or something. Just do, like, kind of a fun storytelling thing where it's, like, like you live in the empty, burned-down shell of their house. That's always been kind of the funny thing. We have the Alto house, brought back the Goth Seniors, like, all, everyone from The Sims 1. Like, that's kind of the whole thing that I had with this save file, is that, like, Willow Creek is based off Sims 1, and Oasis Springs is based off Sims 2, and then Newcrest is based off of The Sims 3, so... Oh uh, yeah, it's kind of like going over the themes here, mostly with the altos, and then we brought back brought the foremans, who are like my original Sims, right? Who are like kind of the rebels who are inspired by the Persona series because like we had a place called the Blue Velvet, which is actually like surprisingly like like important to this lore of like the little amount of lore we have in Sims Four that they didn't even get to take advantage of, you know. I mean, yeah, I like the Blue Velvet, and I think, like, again, it's one of those things that I'm always going to get upset about. It's like, they, like, people who renovate it never make it blue, and they always, like, the two things that always piss me off is when they don't make the Blue Velvet blue, and when they renovate Sims without knowing, like, what original game they're from, and not giving, like, respect to them. Which is sad, and it's not technically their fault, but, you know, it's fine, whatever. It still pisses me off, though. <laughs> it's like, it get, again, I'm like, I reminds me of the, the one person who was, like, on Tumblr, and it's like, if they bring back Goth Boy, they're just gonna turn them into E-Boys, and I'm just like, like, I don't know, man, that was really fun to me, but I really wanted to go with this whole thing with, like, the, with, like, the Blue Velvet kind of look, you know, like, Persona, like, like, the Velvet Room, and I really wanted to bring back the uh, attendance from, like, Personas, like, 1 and 2, so, yeah, that's kind of the big thing you had here, but, yeah. Yeah, it's definitely, like, giving me a lot of flashbacks, too. Because, I mean, I already did this. And it's, like, I think this is the one lot, too, that's, like, really, like, giving off the big, like, uh, vibes of, like, New Orleans, you know? Because I feel like that's the thing that I always loved about The Sims, is that the first, like, main normal town has always been inspired by New Orleans. And that's always been really cool, you know? So... Yeah, and then one other thing is that we have the Municipal Muses, who is, like... Like, and this, like, was probably, like, one of the best lots. Like, not, well, not necessarily, but, like, it was one of the most interesting lots from Sims 1. But, like, I, I mean, like, it's more, like, meant to be dedicated to the lore of Princess Cordelia. Which is, like, this is kind of a cool idea to play with, you know? Like, like with the idea of, like, expanding upon the lore, having, like, this kind of museum set up. And it's, like, yeah. Like, I definitely, like, took a lot more liberties, like, early on with, like my sims and stuff like definitely like giving everyone who's like pre-made like makeovers and all that i mean and you know but 
Yeah, I really do like the way this looks. It's like giving me like a lot of just like flashbacks to making it, you know? So yeah, it's a lot of nostalgia, but I do quite love it. So yeah, I am going to just be looking at the ones that like haven't been toured because I know someone else did make a video on on like other on some of my other lots too and that was really cool well i'm a bit sad that like it wasn't like uh, in english so i couldn't really understand everything they were saying but whatever it's fine they enjoyed it and that's all that matters but and yeah i really like kind of like setting it up to be functional too like all the community lots will have like kitchens in it and stuff if you want to like make a cake here and all that like you have like some a lot of functional stuff because i really did want to focus on the big functionality at least with this you know, and then definitely in the future, and like my expansion pack save file, the community lots are going to be a lot more geared towards the clubs, you know. I feel like once you get to my expansion pack save file, like it'll very much be based off of the club system. That, that'll be like the big focus, you know. But yeah, that's kind of the thing with this one. And like I'll take, I can take a look at all this, but like, yeah, you have all the classic sims, right? Like, you have all the sims that, like, are lived there originally. Like, I expense Kim Lewis is still there. The Goths still there. The Pancakes still live there. And the BFFs. Like, those are all the people who still live there. But you also have every lot from The Sims 1. We already went over the Alto household. What do you have? The Goths. And then you have the Newbies. You have the Roomies. And then you have the Bachelors. So, Bachelors and the Pleasants. So... Yeah, those are like the originals. And then I put in also the classic Sims 2 Sims. So you have the Brooke family, the Brooke Jr. family, the Pleasant Jr. family, the Dreamers. And then you'll also have the Agathinus from Sims 1, Agnes Kronbaum from Sims 3. So a lot of stuff that's like tying into a lot of the major stuff. So yeah, the Foremans are like the only like business, independent business left in Willow Creek, which is kind of the big uh, plot point for Willow Creek. And then you'll move on to Oasis Springs, very much based off of The Sims 2, primarily Strange Town. So like you don't have a lot of the main main Strange Town Sims here, but we do have all of Spectre. The probably the most fun family to build just because of the fact that like I had to kill all the Sims again. But yeah, the one issue I do have uh thinking about it is culling. Culling is kind of the big nightmare to worry about when it comes to building a save file because it'll automatically like delete relationships and like delete sims from tombstones like even if you have the mc command center settings right even if you do everything perfectly like stuff like that's still gonna happen and it sucks it's really annoying and i i just wish i didn't have to do that but it's fine the land grabs are like land grabs have already been here with the calientes that's why they're not in willow creek because they're they're always meant to be here you know uh, like in the original game so yeah, and then you have the I I merged Johnny Zest with the Broke Seniors to create the full like trailer park and all that. And then you have the the whole like like uh, roomies. I also merged them with uh, Amber Stein. Like I think this one was the one I I focus a lot more on like both Strange Town Sims from like the console games and all that. And then I also put in some ones from the whole. Uh, from the like original like launch like these are the original promo sims you know like these are like the sims that i loved seeing in trailers but didn't really get their like moment to shine in the sims for base game because like they just didn't want to you'll also have like some original sims too like from my uh, uh original let's play so like these are like my original sims and then my sim self here of course because yeah but yeah there's a lot of like stuff that i like put into this one as well so and let's go jump into probably the Spectre household because I feel like the land grabs are kind of big in terms of the story but you also have the Spectre's house as well like I feel like one thing too is like I the families I would recommend playing with like who are technically quote-unquote the protagonists of each town I would say the pancakes are like the protagonists of like Willow Creek right like I would also like say that um Michael Bachelor technically counts as a protagonist as well and then I wouldn't say all of Spectre, but I do love her house. I, I really like, I really did have to go and like kill everyone, like literally everyone, get pictures of everyone. Just, it's really like a lot of work and I'll have to like redo it again in at least in my expansion pack save. But yeah, it is a big shame. Um, 
when they delete all of your stuff, and that really sucks, but, oh well, I mean, nothing you can do about it, it's like, you know, that's definitely the most frustrating and discouraging thing about it, making a save file, it's like, when it's like, you put so much effort into like, making these sims, killing them off, getting the ancestral things right, and the family tree, and then the game just messed it up for you, so, oh well, I also, I also gave all of them, um, I also gave all of them like two bonus traits as well, so you'll be able to enjoy that. So, yeah, that's kind of the big thing. I really do love like this whole uh, house too. Like a lot of these are just recreations, but some of them are more uh, take a bit more liberties. So at least the early ones in Willow Creek, you know, like you'll like see that the Goth household isn't like exactly the way they were in the uh, original game. Same thing with uh, the newbies as well. But yeah, I definitely like put a lot of like focus on that, but. With the Calientes too, I did end up moving in uh, Luisa from The Sims 3 and then Toothless Joe from the console version of Sims 2. It was just to kind of like help create the whole condo feel, like make it a bit more full and more storytelling and stuff. Because that's always kind of just been like a cool idea, just like add more and more Sims. You know, like this safe house has just been me like shoving Sims in, you know. And this, this house has, and this safe house has been like built for the base game so like you'll see like angel pleasant here and you'll see like like uh dustin broke here as well so yeah but yeah like this is also the thing where it's like i'm going to be like updating this with like uh for anything that's like new in base game and then like you'll have other things like um i'll be working on and because I'm going to be doing, uh, like, whatever are the memories are. So, like, you'll, the memories in, like, this version of the save file are going to be completely different from the memories in the expansion pack save. So, it'll definitely be, like, worth checking this version out, too. Because, like, this is kind of, like, where I, like, test out, like, new features and stuff. Try to figure it out before I put it into the expansion pack save. Mostly, like, with the Ravishing Diaries. But we'll see. Because I just really wanted to add a memory system. And you don't have it here. Like, just to be clear, but, like, eventually we will. Eventually. But it's not going to be for a really long time, but, oh well. Uh, with this town, most of the, like, quote-unquote community lots are residential lots, just because I want to have people living there. But, I mean, like, these are all technically, like, things that count as community lots. You can have this hotel, which is a great idea. Like, I think the, like, whole hotel challenge that, like, people like Dr. Gluon make is great to use with this one because like you can hand just like have like a one like butler like not butler a one uh, bellboy and then like do that whole challenge where you like move in seven sims have them live there and whatever and I think that's kind of cool you know you can use that as another gameplay idea like definitely I would recommend like again the storylines that I would recommend like I would recommend like going with um uh, I would start with I'm trying to think because Michael Bachelor is kind of a good classic, like, starter sim, as well as the pancakes. Like, those are kind of, like, the protag sims with, like, their own, like, secrets and, like, stories, you know, and connections. And then, you can also, like, if you wanted, you can go with, like, the whole, like, storyline. Because I did keep uh, Darlene and Skip alive in this version. And because, like, I wanted to go with the whole thing about, like, The Sims 4 is kind of like a flashback, you know, like, where it's, like... Like, this is the alt timeline, and then, like, they're, like, happier because of the time travel stuff. But I really want to go with that bit more. But you can still kill them off if you want to. I think one other thing, too, is that, um... I'm trying to think, because you can always kind of go with this. But, yeah, I would recommend the bachelors and the pancakes. I could, like, even the burbs, too, I would say, like, are, like, protagonist-type characters, along with the BFFs, but... But I think that's just because I really like the BFFs. Then you'll also will have like uh, like this one. This one definitely is a lot more clear because you can play through the whole storyline of like each of the games, like with Buddy. Yeah, because I put him in because it just seemed perfect to just have him from My Sims come in here, you know, and have him be the protagonist of the DS version, right? And then the uh, we also have Emily, Emery, and then Bella Goth living here to kind of create the whole um, storyline of. Uh, uh, the Sims 2 PSP, you can do that as well, right? And obviously it's not going to be as perfect, because, like, you don't have everything in here. That's because I'm saving stuff for, like, Strangerville, too, because I feel like that's for my expansion pack, where I save a lot of the lots for Strangerville. That's where you get all the big main Sims, you know? But yeah, back to Oasis Springs. And you also could play with, um, let me see. 
because I would say that the Rumis are also the um, like third like protagonists because they're based off of the GBA version. So yeah, I, I would recommend the Emery household, the Rumis and Stein household, and the Strange Town Hotel as kind of the uh, big protagonists of Oasis Springs. So yeah, I can just go with those storylines and it's pretty cool, you know. And then for the last world is Newcrest. So going to this, this one's definitely much more like uh, family oriented, very Sims 3, very much like throwback. So you'll have like all the senior Sims, like the Simovich, you have like, this is more of a, a My Sims reference. You also have a, a Plumbella uh, here who makes a cameo. Have the Arrival household, they're the trailer Sims from the reveal, who are iconic and also overlooked so much. So yeah, they're, I think with the protagonists, I would recommend the Arrival household. The Clarks, who are from the Sims 1 intro, and the Corbettes who are from the Sims 2. Well, I don't have uh, anyone from the Sims 3 because I don't really know what I would put in, but it's fine. I also have uh, more promo sims, I would recommend those too. Have the oldies, yeah, but yeah, all these are basically like big ancestral sims who play big roles. The Purdue family is also like a good like contender for protagonists as well, because all these, it has such a big role in the story, yeah, as well as uh, Babs. So yeah, they have their own like stories and drama, which play, I even recreated the house from the original um, gameplay video uh, for The Sims 4. I, I, it was really fun to do that. Yeah, where I basically like rebuilt everything on the first floor. On the second floor, I just uh, uh, did my best. But, you know, I also did make it a bit um, nicer. Right, because, like, you know, oh, it was, like, very empty. Like, it's very cool here, and I think it's worth uh, keeping, like, this in. Like, you know, this classic room. You know, it's iconic, amazing. And, like, the kitchen. And then I had the whole rocket ship set up in the backyard as well. So I even have the gym here as well. So, yeah, iconic, truly. I, I did just add in the bathrooms and stuff. And you can add more here, too, if you'd like. I will be adding more details in the expansion pack save. And potentially this one, too. But base game is going to be coming later. Like an updated version. But, yeah, it's not until I'm done with the expansion pack version. So, yeah, I even, I, like, completely recreated this version of a Sophia's room. And there's, like, their room that they stick in together. So, yeah. They have a lot of, like, they have a lot more space. Like, a lot more stuff in their room already in the uh, expansion pack version. Because they have the get-together stuff. But, yeah. I even have their own, like, little garden up here, too. So, I really did like showing that off in the, the tour video. I'm not going through it too much because we already did this, but, you know. Well, I've seen this as kind of a continuation of of Willow Creek, except that it's like a bit more closer to the... What was it? It was a bit closer to a San Mashuna, like kind of the transition point. But yeah, like those are kind of the three worlds, you know, like... And I'm still going to go through a couple more of them, so... Yeah, this one's definitely much, a lot more functional too, like Pleasant Rest Cemetery. That's where I dump all my sims. That was like when I like have ancestral sims put in, so. And then have like, I already run over this in like the previous videos. Like that was my like, library and stuff in the park, you know. Oh, and then I'll kind of look over at the Clarks, because the Clarks are like, iconic. So like, they don't have an official name, but I know that Ross, Mercedes, and uh, Samantha are like the three, these three sims, like actual names. So I know them. So, yeah, I've always liked that. Like, make, and I like making up their stories just kind of from inferring things from, like, the intro, too. So that's always been kind of fun. But, yeah, like, like I definitely do recommend, like, like for The Sims 1, play with kind of, like, more, like, it's a bit more difficult, but, like, definitely play with, like, the newbies, right? Like, I, I wouldn't say the newbies as much as, like, like, I would play with the pancakes, right? Like, they're the newbies of, like, The Sims 4, right? And then, like, you have the protagonists of each of the console games that I recommend playing with it for Oasis Springs and then for this one it's like all of the trailer sims and the reveal trailers which is like like really something that I've always been really into so yeah and I want to go back kind of take a look at this like iconic house you know but yeah I mean look at this man it's like so many memories of this house it's so recognizable but yeah, I had to put it in I had to yeah this got this got like a lot more of a different vibe like definitely this one's been like this one's an actual room from the 
intro like some of this isn't completely there i definitely like recreate this kitchen and like i definitely needed to recreate this specific part right or it's like you have all this set up in this way you know have the fish and everything so yeah yeah and they have their own place here so and yeah, that's pretty much it so yeah yeah like a nice little pool area I think that should be it for this. I think I'll take a look at the Sims 2 trailer house. So like, I just kind of want to like, you know, have an excuse to talk a bit more about like how like I would play the save file, you know, and definitely like I would recommend like playing it and then have like neighborhood stories on, right? Like play it through like, I would like what I would do, right? Is like I choose like one town, you know, like, let me see. I want to do, um, Do so we'd have like uh choose like one town from there, you know, and then like I can make these ones the only ones you play with. You could either play it like rotationally or like I recommend doing what Pleasant Sims does in her Sims 3 Let's Plays and just kinda like choosing one family to start with and then like using the neighborhood stories thing with the mailbox to kind of just see like who um like what's happening next, right? Because I mean, like we, you could still like have a story progression on for the Sims you don't play, so or the ones you do play. But I mean, you know, I definitely do recommend like don't keep this like this. Like do like two hundred max recommended, and then, like keep the ones in this town and the ones that are like you know story connected if you want in the rotation, you know, uh, just so you can kind of go through and play with these ones. So one thing too is we also have. A bunch of them who are not in the world as well so you'll have like a bunch of sims and who are have who are like important and have like connections you know like townies from like the sims 2 like mercy bandette and everything and i think that's going to be like kind of important to like have something like that so you can have like a lot of ancestral sims a lot of important connections you know that's definitely why i did but they don't have homes so if you have certain expansion packs i would recommend moving them into those homes so yeah, I really wanted to have the base game as kind of, one, a starting point, and two, as kind of a way to just be like, all right, here's, like, uh, an accessible, like, like, save file, you know, so that you can just play it without needing to do anything except for, like, download um one uh, CC thing, so you can have the family portrait. So it's kind of a big thing, so, yeah, I even have, like, all my, like, like Sims for my Let's Plays and stuff, so... Yeah, I really wanted to put in a lot of Sims, so you'll have you'll have like hundreds of Sims in here, and it's, it's so much, you know. But I think it's just important to making the world feel alive because I feel like that's part of what is important to adding you know life to the Sims Four. You know, like that's kind of the whole point is that like like playing this game and then like you want to immerse yourself in this world you know and like have all these sims who you know from like all these different games and all that and then like you can kind of go through and just like see how like they live their lives and you can play through their lives as well so yeah yeah typically like like i wouldn't play this rotationally you can if you want right but yeah, I would do the story progression thing with Sims 3. So like, just choose one family, play through them for a while. Usually like, play through the ones who have babies, you know? And then like, so like, if anything, like, like if you were playing like Pleasant Sims style, like, you would probably want to go with the Broke family because they have babies. They have a baby, right? So you can like, help mage up and everything and like, be there for the birthdays. And I would definitely like, say like, go and do, um, Go definitely do a long lifespan. Like, if you're going to be, like, doing aging, do a long lifespan. Like, that's the thing, right? So, yeah. And, and like, show whims and everything, but, you know. But, yeah, that's it. Like, make sure to check it out and look forward to it when I eventually get to work on my actual my other ones my second version of my save file it's gonna take a while and it's gonna take a lot of work and managing but i'll get it done i promise but yeah thanks for watching and see you next time bye